Tyrannosaurus had stopped through Shimonkali like it was the last animal for these human people that have been waiting for this since the very first birth. I don't know. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yes or no? Sir, boy, yes or no? Heads or toes? Left or right? X's and O's. Sadie knows what happened here. If she'd have told me we'd be gone by now, she hinders spirits of possessing me. Except when she's asleep. Arresting me now is like blaming Sam Carr's Labrador for all of Berkowitz's murders. This alcoholic recipe has worked to their advantage. I've managed to kill the alligator burglars, but the demonic entities have restarted me to cannibalism and my extra insanity still had to take it further. Silence after the hurricane, exasperated for hours with a virus that disturbs the brain but enhances my power, so it all works out for us. If these walls could breathe, they'd cop along with Afghani, crossed with skunk for all to see where it all begun in the middle of everything. Lost and drunk, your scalding tongue is false and most all these sluts are talking junk, all these sluts locked in my trunk, I think she's dead, I thought I thunk. Feeling like I just consumed some mutagen. With a baboon doomed if I don't find a hallucinogen soon. The future depends on the dude who grew the shrooms. And so this afternoon, I set out in my balloon. Still brooding over the ghouls who refused to give me toadstool. Starting to lose my cool, but choosing not to smoke Instead, I got your wife and kids, probably should have took them back. She'd rather trade her life for his until I got her hooked on crack. Damn it all to hell. I've mistaken love, sex. I've mistaken sex for love again, like happiness for peace, not an itch to be scratched. Damn it all to hell, plastic skin, wooden heart. I've mistaken sex for love again, like happiness for peace, not an itch to be scratched, but a longing or I'm jolting. For the riches to be tapped like spring water streams, time generates anticipation, build up the unca capacitation. Like I'm counting the days, my infatuation can be mistaken for puppy love or another assassination by Cupid. Like a thousand grenades sleeping with the lights on, maybe she'll notice them like bordellos had vacancy signs. She meets me right on time, half asleep. She has complete control. Warm hellos from naked eyes. I've shaped your form and texture. Fantasize your colors and personalities. They all inherited my identity. By creating her, I'm sworn to protect her. Can't describe my lover in words fashionably because comparing her is blasphemy. A plastic skin wouldn't work. Today I feel dead. Think I'll lay here, lazy in bed, creating in my head a radiant lady in red. my manifestation she even made my bed take me with you i beg <laughs> if you can balance your needs safely in her legs we sailed into my dream so gallantly streaming where everything is edible it seems so happy i'm screaming seeing incredible things leaving on a rocket ship holding onto the gator i think i'm about to slip in a coma on the operating table Am I allergic to scorpions? She asks. I'm acrophobic at these atmospheric altitudes. Amorously, she laughs. She's apt to be alter human, entranced by her poltertrude, peering past the cycle with the pendulum, prancing like a prostitute. But at least she recycles adamantium. The vastness of her multitudes overexceed my natural occupancy, like paratroopers in my parlor room. For my preternatural prosody, we pray for peace and prosperity and chastity and charity, but with vampiric vulgarity, vandalized virginity. How quickly or quixotic can my quatrain for the queen, whose quantum is quasi of quasars, with exquisite symphonic streams, I quiver in the range of her radar. Ah, 
information but I'll also get to bang her without strings or allegations and if I find my wallet missing I can't call the commissioner because she's been office visiting they'll have my balls for dinner so I wrote her a check and she owed me a debt she opened her dress and bent over the desk she gave me the new she gave me the names and told me the rest and now she's making change with two holes in her neck nah. Saltana to Vulcan, sultry, sunbathing, voluptuous, seductive, suckling, running naked through the sunflower orchard, spray painted, violet, under the sun shower, sorcerer, ray, spangled, smiling, planting and parching red peppers to perfect the Panacean potion, perish Pandora's pond, I person of pantheon proportion with a palette of paint. Paradise Palace with high up palpable the palm trees where enemy slaves wouldn't dare fight the bound. Paralyzed by her bathing suit of marijuana leaves, the perfection in her peripatetic perambulating in my perceptual periphery, I suspected her a heretic who would procrastinate her eventual victory. Of course. Sunday in the garden. Not to be perceived as Superman, genetic mental powers from the Summers family tree. It's not that I can see the future, man. I'm from many hours away, coming from Amity, the help apocalypse sees. Final age is final days, and finally came. I've helped stop this primal rage. We finally made it to the final stage. My cybernetic virus is sustained enough. Although my DNA is changing, designer synthetic spiraling chains freely created, painting optical blast through quartz ruby, sonic flash, palms explode, toxic gas, court with Judy, sonic fast around the globe, spotted last at the X Force movie, teleporting before the outcome with a costume mask and corny jewelry snorting in the morning sounds dumb. <laughs> What in the actual fuck is my daughter doing with my notebook right now? <laughs> She's telling me this is done and we need to stop. She's taking the iPod and all recording devices and stomping them out like Godzilla on a rampage. Nowhere to stop her. She's out to lunch. If I leave here tonight, know that I had a destination. Everything will be alright. Don't drag on the devastation. Don't pass on my speculations about the past for the bus station. Don't harass me in my hibernation and mask all your frustrations. Call and ask if I'm a mental patient. We're both under the moon. I'm watching you from a metal spaceship. Don't wonder or assume if I have sexual relations with extraterrestrial races. I'm too advanced for anyone to rewire my circuitry. My extrasensory perception changed in the Mesozoic ages when my future plans were to retire permanently. I'm leaving on a dire emergency. I'm not escaping to keep in practice. I'm seeing to a vampire murder scene. I'm taking a leave of absence. So don't wait up. I'm sure I'll be back on the next record. <laughs> Baby! Oh!